look, telehealth is way behind the time. It, it, we should have had it um, a decade ago. But you know, there's been slow movement uh, to, to to have the transition and get it adopted. COVID changed all that. Um, COVID dramatic. I think it accelerated an easy decade of movement in this space. We saw 43% of Medicare cases uh, done over telehealth during uh, you know April during the lockdown of last year, and it's it's absolutely only here to say. So in addition to this workforce migration healthcare, you have this tremendous um, transition of a disruption of healthcare delivery, both inpatient to outpatient, hospital clinic to home. Uh, we're gonna have home health practitioners delivering a lot more than they ever were in regards to the clinical side of, of healthcare. Historically, because of legislation, you know, doctors could not practice medicine across uh, state lines. Uh, only certain, you know, only clinicians uh, and, and specifically right. physicians, could, uh, physicians could practice certain types of medicine. The, um, huge amounts of procedures could only be done in an inpatient environment. As of 2021, uh, we've got four years now to, to phase out the inpatient only list. We're moving to outpatient procedures. We're moving to home health. We're moving to nurses and home health practitioners being able to deliver healthcare that historically they've never been able to do before. So you're going to see a dramatic shift in the training that's tied to a lot of these new up and coming roles and absolutely to telehealth.